Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to the Dog Solid channel. Today, we will be discussing the elegant Ozawa. Before we dive into the top pros and cons of owning an Ozawa, let's play some Dog Solid trivia. What is the name of the African tribe that used the Ozawa for hunting? Was it A, Wodabi, B, Razik, C, Tuareg, or D, Zulu? Take your best guess and comment it below in the comment section. Watch until the end of the video for an answer. You may be surprised, or maybe you won't. Anyways, let's get back into the video. Here's a quick overview of the Azawa. First, let's start off with learning how to pronounce the name of this beautiful creature. The singular pronunciation is Azawa, and the plural pronunciation is Azawa and the K is silent. The striking and appealing Azawa hails from West Africa and the Sahil region of the Sahara Desert. To be more specific, the Azawa comes from the Azawa Valley in the Sahara, which is where this breed gets its name from. The Azawa male can grow to heights of up to 25 to 29 inches, and the female can grow to be 23 to 27 inches and a half. This slender breed can weigh between 33 to 55 pounds, depending on the sex of the dog. Last but not least, the Ozawa belongs to the hound group and can have a life expectancy of 12 to 15 years. Now, let's dive into the pros of owning the Ozawa. Pro number one, distinctive appearance. This runway model of a dog is a sight to see. With this unique looking hound, you will be able to see its bone structure and muscles due to the Oswa being so lean. Typically, you will see three of its ribs sticking out of its short hair coat. The appearance of the Oswa does not mean that it is sick or undernourished. It is just how their bodies were designed naturally in order to survive the scorching heat of the Sahara, while also being able to use it for speed and agility to protect and hunt. The steady gaze of the Oswa's almond-shaped eyes gives it an intelligent look, which goes to match its long muzzle and pendant ears. You're more than likely to never see this dog overweight, not unless you live in America. Okay, that was a bad joke, but you know what I mean. They do share similar characteristics to the Salukis and Greyhounds. However, one thing that sets them apart from their counterpart is their triangular ears that lie flat down. Pro number two, variety of colors. When it comes to choosing a particular color for the Ozawa, there are plenty to choose from. The short hair coat of the Ozawa comes in many different colors, such as clear, sand to dark red, white, black, blue, gray, brindle, grizzle, party color, and also all shades of brown, including chocolate. An interesting fact about the Ozawa is that it has a hairless stomach, and no matter what the color is, it will always have a white bib, and also the tip of the tail will be white too. Another appearance trait unique to the Oswa is at the bottom of each limb. They will have white paws that resemble stockings, except for the black brindle color. Pro number three, grooming. If you are looking for a dog that barely needs to be groomed, then this is the perfect dog for you. The Oswa is considered a moderate shedder, and since its coat is short and fine, it requires minimal upkeep. To keep their coats looking pristine, you will only need to do a weekly brush of the coat with either a soft bristle brush or a rubber grooming glove or two. The bathing requirements for the Ozawa is also quite minimal, since they don't have the typical doggy odor. This eloquent hound should be bathed at least once a month in order to maintain a shiny coat and to help eliminate the overproduction of oil, which can have the coat looking dull. Some owners won't even give their Ozawa a bath if they are muddy. The owner can simply just wait for the mud to dry and then just brush it all off the coat until it's clean. In this situation, I would just go ahead and give it a bath, but hey, that's just my opinion. Pro number four, calm temperament. You won't catch the Oswa in a high energy phase as they are typically quiet with a bark that you can barely hear. They are gentle, affectionate, and loyal to their families, but can be suspicious of strangers. The Oswa can be so standoffish towards strangers that they won't even let them touch them, which is okay in my book, as I wouldn't want some random stranger to start petting my dog. Some owners report that the temperament of the Oswa can vary. You might have one hound that loves to cuddle and simply just loves being a lap dog, while another one has a strong tendency to be a watchdog. You could even have an Oswa displaying both temperaments. But I just really want to emphasize that these dogs are very loving, especially to their families. Pro number five, watchdog. 
As stated earlier in this video, these dogs are bred to protect, which makes them the perfect watchdog and guard dog. The Oswalds are always on high alert and observe everything. Even though they don't bark very often, they will let you know if something seems out of place, especially since they are extremely territorial. Speaking of being territorial, the Oswald will do whatever it needs to do to protect its territory and will attack unwanted animals and even people. And even though this breed's biting potential is relatively low, it will bite for protection or if provoked. Well, that wraps up the top five pros of owning an Oswald. Now we are going to dive into the cons. Every breed has some type of undesirable trait and the Oswald is no exception to the rule. Check out the cons to see if this is the right breed for you. Con number one, need space. If you live in an apartment or a small home, then this is not the dog for you. These dogs require enough room where they are able to stretch their legs. A house with a big yard will be the perfect environment for Oswald, who also enjoy their own personal space. And sometimes you might even have multiple Oswalds and you'll catch them piled up on top of each other. It just depends on what mood the Oswald happens to be in. The Oswald can run up to 35 miles an hour and will need regular exercise. They make great companions for jogging and hiking. In. If you are someone who does not like to exercise often, then this may not be the dog for you. One more thing that might be annoying about the Oswa is that they will not exercise unless you are watching them and you have to spend time watching them to make sure that they get all that pent up energy out or they might be destructive in the house. Con number two, strong prey drive. The Oswa has an extremely strong prey drive. If you have a cat or any other small fairy animal, then they probably will not be safe around the Oswa. Even if the Oswa is brought up with them, and socialize at an early age, they may quickly forget when outside that the small animal is a housemate and will give chase. So as a rule of thumb, it is best to keep these dogs on a leash. They will go after anything that is moving. And since we are talking about their strong prey drive, they are also not kid friendly. So you might want to choose a different breed if you have younger children, especially since this dog doesn't like to be rough house or even touch sometimes. Con number three, health concerns. The Oswa is known for having a higher pain tolerance than most other hound breeds. You might think that this is a good trait for a dog, but as you know, dogs can't speak and can't let us know when something is wrong. And this can cause a compound effect on other issues that can really take a toll on your hound. So as a responsible owner, you will need to pay special attention if you see changes in your Oswa behavior, as it might be a clue that your pooch may not be feeling well. One positive trait is that the Oswa will never likely get hip dysplasia like other dog breeds. They can suffer from problems such as bone structure and also neck problems or other skeleton issues. Last but most important is that they can also have an issue with bloating, which may not sound that alarming, but it can actually be life-threatening and is a problem that you do not want to play with. And if you suspect that your Oswa might be suffering from this condition, you might want to see the vet immediately. To combat this issue of the health concern, it's always best that you have some type of pet insurance or else you could possibly pay many vet bills out of pockets, which could definitely be costly. Con number four, not good for first time owners. The Oswalds are not good for owners who never had the responsibility of taking care of any dog or even any animals. The personality of the Oswalds are stubborn and independent which makes them difficult to train. And even pro trainers can run into issues with the Oswald, so just imagine how you would feel as a novice owner. Another reason why the Oswalds are not good for novice owners is because this breed requires a lot of exercise, which may be more of a time commitment than one might want to put in. Most novice owners tend to do better with low maintenance pets. Con number five, cannot withstand cold climates. This breed is not the best choice if you live in a cold or wet environment. Due to the Oswa having a short coat and a low level of body fat, they tend to be more effective than dogs with thicker coats. You can create a protective warm clothing for your Oswa in the colder months, but it's still best practice to keep them in a warm environment. Some owners claim that you can notice the difference in the Oswa's attitude when kept in a colder environment. I can imagine that it's probably very standoffish, but who knows? Well, that wraps up this pros and cons video about the Oswa. And as promised, here's the answer to the dog solid trivia question from the beginning of the video. If you chose the tribe of Tuareg, then you are correct. The Tuareg nomads lived in the Ozawa Valley and used this breed to protect their camps and flocks against intruders. Thank you for watching this video and check out my other playlists and other videos. The link is below in the description. And also don't forget to subscribe to the dog solid channel. Now we'll see you in the next video.